So the first thing we want to do is put the system in bypass. Basically this is your inlet and your outlet and you can see the valves are open. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and rotate these to the off position. Uh, so the valves now face each other. Basically what that does is it allows the water to come in and the water to go out and separates uh, the inlet outlet from the tank at this point in time. Okay, so we've got our system in bypass. Uh, this still also uh, allows you to still have water uh, going into the house. So right now we still have water in the house. We've just isolated off the system. So the first thing we need to do is relieve the pressure in the system. And what we're going to do there is go ahead and uh, go into a regeneration mode and into a backwash. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, set change button. And as you see, it's flashing one here. So that basically goes into the backwash mode. Okay, so we're in backwash mode, section one, for 10 minutes, that'll count down. So you'll have noticed your, uh, your output line here. You'll basically see the water go out, the pressure drops, and you'll, you now do not have pressure in the system. So uh, what we're going to do now that we've drained the system, I'm going to go ahead and manually cycle through the regeneration process and get us back into the, um, uh, the operations mode before we remove the valve. So again, just hold the set change button and then it goes into cycle three, which is the rapid rinse. And again, at this point in time, you really won't see anything coming out of the drain line because we've already vented the pressure off. And one more time, we'll get us back into the service mode. Okay, and now we're back into the uh, service mode, flashing between uh, days left for regen and the time. Okay, we're going to go ahead and unplug the unit here with this, from the little pigtail. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, disconnect our drain line. So you're going to want to have a bucket handy for this because even though we relieve the pressure, there's still a little water up here in the head and there'll be a little in the drain line. So to remove the drain line, there's this little black plastic clip here. You'll pull out, as you can see. This clip slides into a little groove in there that holds this in. You'll now be able to pull this out. And basically there's an O-ring seal in here and the clip folds over like this to keep it from coming out. So that's what holds it in. Go ahead and place your clip back in there so you don't lose it. And we'll just stow the drain line over here for now. Okay, so now that we've got our pressure all relieved and our drain line removed, um, we're going to go ahead and separate the bypass valve from the, uh, the control valve. And basically there are little metal fittings on both sides. You definitely want to make sure you do the metal fittings that separate the valve from the bypass, not these. There's, this is still under pressure, remember here. So what these guys are, you're just going to go ahead and get your nut driver. And they're just little screws. And you pop them out. And basically these little clips have little edges here. And that you, that's used to hold these together. So that's basically how that works. Okay, again, there again, you may want to have somebody help you with a bucket holding underneath here. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to separate right here the valve from the control cylinder. So now you can see there's the O-ring seals and the O-ring seal up in this guy. There again, the little clips hold this together. So you now have water pressure here. You have house pressure. You're all good to go. And you can separate your control valve and your cylinder. Okay, we're going to now go ahead and remove the control valve from the media cylinder. Uh, basically, this should be hand tight. You never want to use like a strap wrench or anything on here because you can crack the plastic housing and or the tank. 
So you're going to just go ahead and unthread this valve. And then you'll disconnect your D-tube 